Today, we will talk about how to use Power Query to mix data from different places. Now, let's start with a quick intro to the dashboard. Take a look at the dashboard. It's all about analyzing spending on some projects. Behind the scenes, the source data is from this table with a column called Current Project Status. In this column, we've got information like whether a project is in the design phase, tender stage, works are happening, or it's in the planning or lodge phase. But when we make dashboard, we want to keep things simple. Instead of showing all these detailed project statuses, we want to group them together into broader categories. Doing this manually with formula would not be ideal if you have large datasets. That's where Power Query steps in. Now, let's dive into learning how to use Power Query. Firstly, ensure that every table you work with in Excel is in the right format. Navigate to the Data tab, click on the table, and confirm that it's formatted as a table. Here, we're specifically turning our project status reporting mapping table into an actual Excel table and giving it a name. Next, go to the Data tab and choose Get Data Power Query. For MacBook Excel users, you'll need to direct the query to this Excel file as the source. Now, select the two tables in the list and click Transform Data. In the query list on the left side, we've chosen two tables. And on the right, you can see the actual rows and columns. Click on Merge Queries in the top menu and select Merge Query as New. In the pop-up window, match these two tables using a shared column. This process creates a new table or query, visible in the list on the left. Notice that the status group column has been added as an additional column in the table. Now, for updating and refreshing data. If you need to add new data to your raw data table. In this example, let's use existing data. You just need to append the additional data to the raw data table as we show you here. Once you've added the new data, go to the consolidated data table and click Refresh. Here they are. The consolidated data is refreshed automatically. Ensure you also refresh your pivot tables. All the new data will automatically be updated in the dashboard. Deleting data is straightforward. Just remove the data directly from the raw data table, refresh the consolidated data table, and update the pivot table. 